Thaddeus Tyler here at Kettering One, checking in with 5660 Symmetrical Chaos. This is an absolutely gorgeous robot. There's so much cool stuff going on with this team. Let's dive in. We're going to be talking about their uh, amazing indexing that they're doing, adding a lot of pneumatics this year to kind of mitigate some of the code as well, too. But uh, under the bumper intake, which I really love, a very versatile uh, trap scoring mechanism with a shooter, and we'll be diving into a climber. Let's learn more about this team here in Crescendo coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button on any YouTube video to pledge your support. Jacob, let's start off with this incredible indexer that you're doing on us. So talk to me about this process you went through, why it's been so important on your robot, and the versatility that it brings too. The indexer is actually one of the most unique parts of our robot this year. Um, some of the process going through it was how can we get a piece high, how can we move a piece throughout our robot efficiently so that we can shoot from high above robots. Um, some of the mechanical features of our indexer is the amp scoring. So it's got the capability to feed to the shooter on a fixed position and shoot back onto an amp. So the reason we went with the more mechanically complex indexer was so that there was less work in coding. And some other unique features about the indexer is our axles are actually burrowed out in the middle with 3D printed screws to make it lighter. So by making that lighter, we can make our center of gravity lower and we can be quicker on the field. You have quite the uh, belt and wheel configuration on this overall. Let's talk to me about how you came up with utilizing this design. Like what testing did you go through to make sure this was the right uh, config for you? So that's actually why his name is Belt and John. And uh, the testing we had to do obviously was to see, can you bend a piece? And then once we figured out you can bend a piece, how can we bend a piece into the shooter? How can we keep it from getting out with the belts? So all the belts are connected to axles so that you can move it all on less motors, but they're also so the piece doesn't just go out wherever it wants. So start to move on this robot, talk to uh, Jasmine. Uh, we're going to talk about this awesome under the bumper intake that you're doing here. Uh, and then uh, talk to you about how it goes into your shooter and uh, just how that, all that comes together. Okay, well we decided on using uh, under the bumper sh uh, intake because it seems the fastest to um, fastest to intake a piece and get it back to where we need it to be. It's controlled by a single motor, so it's simple to simple to so it's simple to intake and go straight into our index. Now, after it goes past the index, it goes straight into our shooter. It waits by, by the feeders and while the shooter warms up. Uh, usually give it two seconds and then it'll, you can press your feeder button and it'll shoot right out. Now, we have a fixed position shooter, so we, only have to, we can do a close shot, which is at the speaker right under it. And in order to do that, we need to use our pneumatics up here, and the flap will go up. Can you guys put up the flap? The flap will go up. And so when you shoot it, it'll go straight into the, the top amp. Where are you typically shooting from on the field? What's kind of your sweet spot? Close? Right, right up against the speaker area? Very cool. Um, from a overall transfer process, like as you go through on this, like was this the initial concept that you had for a uh, shooter mechanism or what kind of iterations did you go through uh, throughout the season? Um, I think we had this shooter as like our, our this is the type of shooter we use from day one but we tended to take away and add more reels because we couldn't figure out which one worked best. At first we had the center reels removed because so that we didn't have to we could use some more weight um, but we learned that since our feeders are so close to our shooter if it only had the center wheel it disformed the note um, and it made our shot, shot go all wonky. So that's why we decided to um, add more wheels so we had more control over the game piece. Mikhail, this is, uh, you are one of the few teams that is uh, really trying to attempt the trap this year. So talking about that trap mechanism, what you're doing for it, and then uh, we gotta wind up uh, talking about your climber too. Okay, so this is our one-time use track mechanism. <laughs> and put it up. So it's hold, held by pneumatics and it's a constant force spring pushes this up and this pushes the flap so that we can shoot the ring up into the trap. And then 
For the climber, our climber is used with the pulley system and it's one of our only features that doesn't use pneumatics. Um, sorry, one sec. Um, yeah, okay, this is used by the Constant Force Springs. It has the one hook so that it hooks onto the chain when we move up. And, oh yeah, we've used this in previous years on our 2022 robot. And we put this hook on it and clamp these together. So on your trap mechanism, you mentioned that it's a one-time use for it. Mm -hmm. So how, when you were analyzing the game, you know, what made you say, hey, only having a one-time use is okay, because if you misfire or something like that, you might not be able to trap them for the rest of your match. Yeah, okay, so we put this together actually just a few days before the competition. Um, we realized when testing that this wasn't gonna, it just wasn't gonna slide up. So we made the executive decision to just build these on. We actually just made these longer today so that it pushes it further in. Well, Symmetric Chaos, phenomenal job uh, this year. I absolutely love the design of your robot. And by the way, as a thank you for uh, doing this awesome interview, our friends at Send Cut Send, we're providing a $50 gift card to use at sendcutsend.com slash fun for any laser fab parts that you may need throughout the rest of the season. Uh, so thanks to them, and thank you so much for taking time to tell us more about your team and your robot. Good luck here at Kettering One, and of course, the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support.